Hi everybody, Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for the collective for whoever, whenever, wherever. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Today um, we're going to use the turquoise healing fork. This one was coming out in a lot of the readings yesterday and um, it's apropos because it's Gemini season, right? So for the throat chakra, there's a lot of um, communication happening. People are very chatty, talkative. I'm hearing talkative. So um, let's open up our throat chakra and um, begin. Let's take a deep breath. Beautiful, beautiful. So this morning, um, for some reason, I woke up super duper early. My kids woke up super duper early. It was like everybody was all out and about at 5.30 in the morning. But by 5.30, we were all active. And um, I was started pulling uh, some pages out, only like pulling pages out, but I pulled some books off the shelf and I was just looking at them. And this is a really cool book. This is a, a little book of coincidence by um, John Martineau. And um, it's interesting, you know, it's got like graphs of the planets doing their dances in the back and like some tables, you know, that are really interesting. Um, so I opened it to uh the solar system and i thought well that's awesome what's this has to say it says spirals everywhere and when i read it i really thought that um i should share it with you guys today so it says um it is now thought oh let's look at that picture is that cool or what all right um it is now thought that our solar system condensed uh, from a disk of debris some five billion years ago to form a sun Remaining heavier materials were attracted to each other and pulled inward to form small asteroids and rocky planets. Lighter gases were blown further out by the solar wind to condense as the four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus. In the inner solar system, asteroids grew into planets, pulling the final pieces into place with more and more energy. Today, many remain hot inside from these collisions. The eventual things they become are as they became as they are now. Ah, eventually, things became as they are now. The plane of the solar system is tilted at 30 degrees to the plane of our galaxy. So the solar system actually corkscrews its way through around the arm of the Milky Way. The picture right here um, is a schematic of the motions of the four inner planets. Another way to picture the solar system is by thinking of space as a rubber band sheet as a rubber sheet with the sun as a heavy ball and the planets as marbles placed on, on it right here. This is Einstein's model of, of the way that matter curves space-time and visualize the force of gravity between the masses. If we flick a frictionless P onto our sheet, we could easily be captured by one of the marbles or the sun around um, or spun around a few times and spat out, or settle into a fast spinning elliptical orbit halfway down any side of the wormholes. Like a planet, the further the pea gets out down the funnel, the faster it must circle to stop itself from going down the tube. Also, the faster it spins, the heavier it gets, and the slightly and the slightly slower it its clock seems to run. So see how they're like dipped in there. Now there is some conjecture. Not everyone agrees with the science of what I just wrote, but what it's talking about and what was pulling me was the idea of, um, you know, um, bringing things closer, right? The idea of like, likes, like. The idea of everything is kind of um, in this continuous clockward motion, circling around itself and everything else. And that's what we're doing too, right? In life and in general in motion. So um, I'm going to use the, the patch tarot. This is from Spirit Science. And I've also pulled out the Sacred Geometry cards, some um, Rider weight, and this... Uh, cosmic journey oracle because all of this was just feeling very uh, relevant it was like 
you know, shapes, spirals. We talk often about like spiraling around thoughts, right? We've had that Eight of Swords energy come out a few times and I just felt this. So ancestors, spirit, angels, guides, oh, what messages do you have for the collective today? <laughs> the Hierophant, spirituality. Look at that, that centerpiece there, everything revolving around that. It says uh, Taurus, five. And then we get ooh, the five of discs. It says loss, loss or poverty. <coughs> Excuse me. Two of swords, peace or worry. And then um, ad the Aeon advance. This is the judgment card. So... Um, what it's looking like today is there could be some something, right, that has put some blockages in our way, um, but that's okay because it's time for it to reevaluate those. Yes, yes, that is the truth. The Ace of Swords, realization or uncertainty, right? So we're looking at the duality of things and all these cards in, in this deck are upright. So we'll start with the with the tradition, right? With the Hierophant. This is Taurus energy. This is steadfast. This is strong. It's like governments, institutions, churches, religious, uh, it, anything. It's like the traditions that um, that we were born into, the, the rules and regulations that we were, um, that, that are here, that, that establishment, right? I heard establishment. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. So um, it's like the spirituality that is the establishment. All right, got that. All right, loss, five of discs. This is like feeling outside of something, feeling left on the outside of something. And what's really interesting is that these are both fives, right? So all of the fives are directly related to the Hierophant card. And that's because it's change, it's freedom, it's bucking the system, it's also constriction and restriction, right? That we grow out of or that helps us to grow, um, That like that forced that forced, uh, away I want to say like forced awakening, but it's like you must do this, right? That's how this is feeling. And maybe because we don't want to do that or we're feeling like we're on, like I'm hearing no help here, right? So we're not getting the assistance maybe that we need from that system. Um, we're feeling left out. And what that's doing is it's causing blockages and we can't exactly see which way we're going, right? We, we can't see it. It, see what's in front of us because we don't have all of the information that's needed and that's why there's this judgment call right when things start to come back we have to reevaluate what's going on and some truths will be revealed and you will get the truth it's like that's what i'm hearing because we have that ace of swords energy on the bottom so let's get some clarifiers from the rider way and see what that's all about you know, I feel like that little key, like, don't get sucked into the gravity of the marbles on the sheet if um, if that's not something that you want to get sucked into. All right, can we please have clarifiers? King of Swords in the reverse, yeah, for this Ace of, or for this Hierophant card. So that is, um, like, textbook narcissism. Somebody who's really, really uber super smart, and they're using it against you using it against the world and so invariably against themselves right um but they don't see it that way they see it as like they think that they're smarter than everybody else and they're going to try to use the system um to out to either use the system um against against you or against the situation or they're gonna come up against this hierophant right and i feel like it's kind of both because this person comes up to this uh, in in an opposition right in a reverse form um and even though he feels like he's the king of everything there's actually um an institution that's larger than him that actually has more sway and more authority than he does so that is very interesting Okay, can we have one for this um, five of discs, please? What's this five of discs about? Queen of Cups in the reverse. I just want you to know that there's a knight of um, pentacles on the bottom and the upright. This is a mixed deck, but here we get... So now we have this Queen of Cups outside. This person's feeling like very overly emotional, right? This person isn't really being able to follow their intuition because they're overcome by their emotions, and it's probably because they're feeling left out. And of course, when we're feeling like we're being manipulated um, in our mind, sometimes that can take 
take over and our uh we can go into panic mode right or lament or go into that feeling of loss and that's what it's kind of feeling like the situation is right now and you know when that person's acting this way and that person's acting that way well then there becomes a blockage what is this this apply it where it goes okay this could be like groups of people this could be individuals this could be your, your own battle within yourself just reading cards here two of two of uh two of swords in the reverse i'm telling you what intemperance in the upright this is a mixed deck but all these cards are coming out in the reverse ace of cups in the reverse with this blockage because nobody's offering love there's a sentiment there's emotion being poured out everywhere nobody wants to to have a new beginning nobody wants to start over here and this is um with this is temperance card be patient mind your manners mind your p's and q's i just saw 10 44 and i'm here and mind your p's and q's all right it's important to um not allow others behavior or exterior situations to put us in the reverse version of ourselves okay get get right back into our right minds everyone please can i have um what's this judgment card about is that the one what's this judgment card about Spirit. the hermit it came out this way all right, and here's the Hierophant on the bottom, and that's going to be the overarching energy of the reading. So the Hierophant out twice. Commitments, right? He stands between the pillars because his, his word is what rules, and he blocks the way or he leads the way. And these people, right, are, um, see how they're both bald? That's uh, indications of two things, right? Maturation and position. So they're older people. They're adults here. And they're also friars, probably, um, of, you know, whatever denomination or nomination or however you like to put it but there are people who have know-how people who have committed themselves to a cause or a way or something right and they're submitting the, their themselves to this authority and that goes for everyone the um the only the only thing that has more authority than this is the death card which isn't here but just to express how big that dude is and um you get the hermit and the hermit in the in the middle here, because it feels like like nobody wants to do this alone. Maybe there's some resentment about having to do this alone or having to go through this um, when everybody should be kind of allowing this lesson and going within and feeling their feelings, their feelings feel, right? John Trudeau, really examining all of the information, looking at it from a logical standpoint, also in the biggest maturation, right? Like the hermit, he's taken a long time to go within. He's got a lot of lessons. He's got a lot of wisdom. He's got a lot of know-how and he takes that out into the world and shines his light when he's in the reverse he's like kind of codependent he's not looking within you're not analyzing things you're not taking the moments um to do that right and so when he's in the when the it's like i'm teetering between what i know i should be doing what my inner light is telling me and my fear of doing it or being by myself doing it alone or being by myself right um and the I feel like it seems like the judgment call is here. It's time to re-examine that, get it, get it done and over with, and it might be some sort of exterior uh, authority that has the last, has the, the last word, <laughs> or it has the last say. All right, let's get some Cosmic Journey Oracles, and then we're going to get a uh, shape activation. It says, oh. Enter one step forward, one step onward. Yeah, it's time to step through, right? Don't be afraid to enter the gate. One step at a time. It could be like overwhelming here, but it's important to start off one step at a time. And then the labyrinth, and it says your effortless effort is fully required. This is effortless credit, effortless edit. Ah, well, there you go. Effortless at it. What needs to be not spoken? What needs to be shared? What does need to be, you know, all of these resources that we have here, to your credit. I heard to your credit, right? It's almost like doing less is doing more and allowing the, allowing the situation to be handled um, by this outside authority because that's what's, that's what's, that's what it's come down to. All right. 
yeah, a memento more, there might not be a someday. It has to be taken care of now, right? Or else the chance to fix it in this manner might not come around again. And that's why it's saying one step at a time. Go ahead, take those steps easy. Take it easy. Keep walking. Keep moving forward. But carpe diem, right? Seize the day. And it says, polish your mirror for perfect clarity. That is the hermit energy. Absolutely. Polish your mirror for perfect clarity. Take a good look. Take a good look inside. Take a good look around, right? To, re to retain and um, get back that emotional balance right if you don't if you're feeling off balance or other people are or there's these these emotions running amok and information that's not being um presented properly or being utilized in a in a negative way right just take it easy because spirit has your back right you didn't get the emperor you didn't get justice you got the hierophant and that means spirit backed right that means tradition backed that means like ancestors have your back with it right so don't worry don't worry at all right oh, a light grows brighter only by lighting another again with that hermit energy and that shining your light around right mm -hmm. don't be afraid to look within because that's where you're going to find the most answers and when you do then you can look forward and move forward I really do feel like th these are calling me over here, so we're going to grab a couple of them. The um, tea leaf oracle, it says tree, that jumped off of tree, affairs with your family, elephant, um, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser in the end, yes, kite, vacation, right, it could have something to do with somewhere that you went or that you need a vacation, right, and that's like take one step at a time, take it, take a little break that's what you need horseshoe beautiful good luck a stubborn and aggressive person well there's that king of swords in the reverse right and karma you will reap what you have sown so will they 17 17 so it's not something that you need to worry about if your actions have been aligned with um being the causing of good effects Right? But if you're in a space where you're letting your emotions or someone else is letting their emotions run over everything, then that's going to cause a lot of ripples and a lot of wakes that are going to splash into things. And it's better to try to just be still and calm and take one measured step at a time and take the process the way it's supposed to be because it says you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Right? That precious gift could be anything. It could be your patience. It could be the information you receive. It could actually be a, a loving gesture, right? But I feel like it's uh, so deeper than that. It's deeper than someone knocking on your door with flowers, which might actually happen. But the gifts that, that we give ourselves of peace, of taking the moment, of realizing that everything is connected, everything is a spiral, and that it's easy to get trapped in the gravity of things if we get too close to things that want to pull us in be mindful of that it's a strong message here it's like getting me today telling us throat chakra turquoise healing fork communication right divine masculine Woo. these communications here with this king of uh king of swords energy right and perception Yeah. Okay. Throat frequency of throat chakra, the blue flower of life supports our self-expression and our sense of peace and balance. Divine masculine. The frequency of divine masculine supports our strong focused and an active side, allowing it to express itself while helping us to bring our dreams and ideas into form with rich with kindness and wisdom. Mm. And that activation, right? Activation through speaking. Here, speak and say, right? Speak and say. Uh, the frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity, moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real and to take a good, hard, deep look at it. Oh my gosh, that's that hermit energy. Take a deep look. Take a good, take a good look because it's, it's going to be very revealing. 
right? And you're going to have moments of realization. And don't worry, spirit has your back, right? I hope that was helpful. I hope that you got something out of it. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for remembering to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And thanks for coming back and seeing us again next time.